I'm Susan Mulvihill. This is an insect hotel and my husband and I just made it. The purpose is to attract more pollinators and beneficial insects to the garden. We made a very rustic looking one with all kinds of natural materials inside that will attract them. I'd like to show you how it went together and maybe you might be interested in making one for your own garden. I saw my first insect hotel in Switzerland. It was in the middle of a botanical garden and I thought it was so cool looking. I saw more insect hotel ideas at this year's Northwest Flower and Garden Show in Seattle, which really got me thinking about building one for our garden. Now if you're like me, I want a recipe for how to do things. It doesn't matter if I'm cooking something or creating something, I just find it easier if someone else will tell me how to do it. But the most important thing you need to know about building your own insect hotel is that it doesn't have to be a specific size. It just needs a roof to shelter insects and the materials inside from the weather and should face south. A sunny location is best. Okay, so how did we build our insect hotel? Well, my husband Bill and I were determined to recycle scraps of lumber and other materials rather than buy new materials. The only expense I had for our project was the purchase of a long drill bit for drilling holes in the lugs. We used old rough cut fence boards and based on what we had available, we decided on a structure that is 36 inches tall by 26 inches wide by 18 inches deep but don't let that influence the size of your project. Here it is starting to come together. We use screws to secure everything. Now the roof is going on. Then some supports for the two shelves that would go inside. After that, we screwed on the bottom and carried it to the garden. We placed it on two concrete blocks that would provide a level surface. Yep, those blocks were recycled too. We pounded a metal fence post down the back side of the structure and attached it with a couple of screws. This was just to ensure it couldn't fall over in high winds, although it's fairly sheltered in our garden. Bill recycled some old shingles for the roof to make it more weather tight. Then it was time to start assembling all of the materials that insects will find appealing for nesting in and or hibernating. This included loose sheets of pine bark, pine cones, bamboo tubes, mason bee tubes, pine needles, old logs, and so on. While looking for materials, I discovered that the stalks of my Autumn Joy sedums are hollow, so they should make some ideal nesting tubes for solitary bees and such. I also rolled up some sheets of cardboard, stuffed them with pine needles, and tied the bundles together with twine. Those should be appealing to ladybugs. Bill was a trooper when it came to drilling holes in some old logs because that part was a bit tedious. Once we had our materials together, we started filling up all of the nooks and crannies in our insect hotel. We put some old hardware cloth in front of the section containing the pine cones so they wouldn't fall out. Then we stuffed the last of the openings between the materials with more pine needles and plant stalks. Here are some close-ups of the materials and Bill's handiwork with the holes in the logs, which can be anywhere from 1 quarter inch to 5 16 inch in diameter, by the way. We even stuffed branches in the openings in the concrete blocks on the bottom. The bamboo tubes came from my sister's garden, and Bill was creative by stuffing a clay pot with dry leaves and then custom cutting a thick piece of bark that had a knot hole in it for the solitary bees to nest in. I'm really pleased with how well this project turned out and how inexpensive it was. As a matter of fact, it was so much fun, we are thinking about building another one, well, or maybe two, for other areas of our garden. I hope you found this interesting and that you'll make an insect hotel to attract pollinators and beneficial insects to your own garden. Happy gardening!